Hey y'all, it's Heal Heat time. Hi everybody and welcome to Heal Heat. My name is George Coles and this is the debut of Wednesday Wrestling Wrap Up. Now I know what you're saying, it's not Wednesday. However, we're going to review the wrestling shows that come on on Wednesday night. That being said, NXT, Lucha Underground, Ring of Honor, and TNA. All on Wednesday night, overexposure, overexplosion of uh, wrestling goodness, a lot to cover. We're going to narrow it down a bit. Just basically cover the bases, touch on each promotion a little bit, and say what we liked and didn't like. Now let's jump right into it. First thing, the negatives. Uh, coming from Lucha Underground, the four-way match between Marty the Moth, Cage, the Mac, and Aerostar. Uh, this match was a train wreck. A lot. Lucha Underground's done a lot of multi-person matches that have been really good and really fun and entertaining. Uh, the the addition of Cage and Mac in this, I one of them might have been okay. But the two of them, both are great talents. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking them. This match just fell flat. It felt like, I don't know, like a train wreck. It was a train wreck match. Not the best thing that Lucha Underground's promote, produced. Not the worst. But falls in our negative part to this week. Next up, from the land of TNA. Loki versus Grado versus Tigre Uno. In the three-way match for the X Division title, which T. Gray Uno wins. Oh, and Aerostar won the match before, of course. Um, I'm big on T. Gray Uno. I think he's going to be a great addition. I think he's someone that you could build a future around. He has that much talent, in my opinion. Low-key, great wrestler. Gray is a great com comedic wrestler. Again, this may have been a... Uh, a case of doing a little too much in one thing. A match between Loki, Loki and Grado, or Loki and Tigre Uno, or Tigre Uno and Grado might have been better than this three-way. Felt a little bit forced at times. Felt a little bit overcrowded at times. Next up, the worst match of the night. Coming from the land of NXT. Dana Brooke versus Cassie. Or Casey, I'm sorry. I forget exactly. It was either Cassie or Casey. It was the first time they debuted her. Looked like she had a lot of potential. Dana Brooke, I'm not seeing anything in yet. Um, she's stiff and robotic in the ring. She has a, a unique look. I'll give her that. She reminds me of a miniature Beth Phoenix. She picks up the win. They seem to be strapping a rocket ship to her butt. I don't know, it just didn't... I don't think she's quite ready for television. And this match could have came off a little bit better. Now coming off of that, we're going to jump into our question of the week, which has been a staple here at Heel Heat throughout the years and in our different incarnations of our shows. So this is where we like to get you, the listeners and or viewers, I keep saying listeners, I don't know why, involved in what we do. So we throw a question out there, and you can answer it any way you like. If you want to hit us up on our Twitter, hit us up on Facebook, which both the links will be up or down here in the comments somewhere, or you just want to comment right here on YouTube, feel free to do so. We love to hear what you think and your opinions. That's why we throw this in there. Now the question of the week for this week, of the four promotions we're going to be carrying on Wednesday Wrestling Wrap-Up, it's a mouthful to say. NXT, which is an offshoot of WWE, Lucha Underground, Ring of Honor, or TNA. What is your favorite of the four promotions? Let us know what you think. Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Put it in the comments. Make sure if you're on this page to hit like and share for us, too. Get our name out there. Get other people talking about it. Bring some more into the conversation. Makes it always more interesting. The more people, the more fun. Now, coming from that, my positives for the night. First, from the land of Ring of Honor, AJ Styles and the Young Bucks representing the Bullet Club versus Okada, 
Trent Beretta and Rocky Romero representing Chaos. This was a match borrowed from New Japan Pro Wrestling when New Japan co-promoted some shows with Ring of Honor just a few weeks back. Awesome, amazing match. Arguably the best singles wrestler in the world right now, AJ Styles, and the best tag team in the world right now, the Young Bucks, all in one deal. Okada, one of the top five wrestlers in the world, and Rapungi Vice, a great up-and-coming team. Moving up the ranking is going to be something special coming up. They did not disappoint. AJ and the Bucks pick up the win after an insane... You just have to watch it. I can't even explain it. They hit... To end the match, they hit such a great and amazing and just outstanding combination of moves to, to pick up the win on this one. Next up from NXT... Hideo Itami cutting an in-ring promo about his injury. Kevin Owens comes out. A little bit of back and forth, a little of question of if Owens did it or not. Comes down the ring. He gets saved. Itami gets saved by Finn Balor, who is known to be his friend. They brawl a little bit, all foreshadowing the match on J July the 4th between the two. But this is a good way to keep Atami in your, our minds, to keep Owens and Balor feud going forward. Give a little personal animosity in there as well. Speaking of Balor, Balor versus Rhino in the NXT main event. A good match. Rhino's always been a favorite of mine. Finn Balor is one of my favorite of the new crop. A uh, guy that I really liked in, in New Japan as Prince Devitt. And I'll say it here because they even showed a segment on it. On NXT, Prince Devitt, and just a good match, good fun. Afterwards, we get Owens coming down, which gets, which brings out Samoa Joe, evens up the sides. What you, it's classic wrestling 101. Finn Balor wins. Owens leaves commentary, comes to attack him. Samoa Joe comes out to even the sides. This is how wrestling's been promoted. And this is how wrestling's been, I guess, uh, given to us for decades. And it's not a formula that fails. When you get four good talents like we have here, or great talents, it shows and it makes it interesting. Next up, from Lucha Underground, Pentagon Jr. cutting a promo in Spanish, basically calling out Vampiro for Vampiro stopping him from breaking Sexy Star's arm a couple weeks back. You seen the the, the uh, kind of want in Vampiro's eyes to get in there and get back to fighting. You see Pentagon Jr. as kind of a younger version of Vampiro. The heel that's stirring the pot, kind of like Vampiro did in his prime. A nice promo. I wish I understood Spanish. I had to read the so subtitles, but he conveyed the emotion, and that's the thing that people don't get. It's not necessarily what you say, it's how you say it, how your body reacts, your your facial features, what, you're, what looks you're given. Pentagon Jr. speaking Spanish, even without the, the promos, I understood why he, who he wanted to fight, who he was mad with, and how angry he was. He conveyed that not speaking my language. Now, when I added that I, when reading the subtitles and knowing exactly what he said, made it even more impactful. Just a good way to get get a rub from one of the one of the big huge stars of Lucha Libre over the last 25 years, Vampiro, on one of the newer stars, Pentagon Jr. Now, from that. We're going to go to our promo of the week. From TNA Wrestling, Karen and Jeff Jarrett. They came out as one of the many TNA surprises. Vader, Matt Morgan, um, and there was uh, Hernandez. Also came all out on TNA's live show. TNA tried to stack the deck, and this was the most shocking one in my opinion. Was Karen and Jeff Jarrett walking in the ring. And both of them cutting a heartfelt, emotional promo about Global Force Wrestling, their new promotion about TNA, where Jeff Jarrett should fit, 
as him and his father started the company, him being fired, him coming back to go out the way that he would want to. I thought this was great. Uh, Jeff Jarrett gets a lot of crap. Some of it deserved, some of it not. When Jeff Jarrett comes out and cuts these emotional promos, he's in the upper echelon of people that do it. And really, it's hard to argue it. Go watch the promo if you don't think I'm right. If you think I'm just blowing smoke or you think I'm just a Jarrett supporter, which I'm not. I like the guy. I think he's a solid wrestler. Do I think he pushed himself in the world championship too much? Yes, I do. However, this is the other side of the argument. He is a great wrestler, and he does cut these great promos when given the opportunity. My promo, my favorite promo of the whole night, in my opinion. The surprise factor, the emotion, it all tied up into one. Now, my match of the night comes from Ring of Honor. Now, it's Roderick Strong versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Probably, like I said with AJ Styles and Okada, Two of the top ten wrestlers in the world, Nakamura. He's tearing it up in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Just an amazing presence. He's a guy that, the second you see him on the screen, you have to believe in him. And Strong? Strong might be having the best year of his career, and that's saying a lot because he's had a lot of great years. Roddy picks up the win in a very hard fought, very entertaining, amazing match between two world-class wrestlers. And just it's just fun to watch when you get two of the guys that are better than almost anyone in the world in the ring doing it. I mean, there's it's rarefied air with these guys. I mean, you got maybe AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, a couple other guys up there with them. But these guys are in, in that upper echelon of talent in the world. Put on an excellent match with each other. Just an amazing match to watch. In my opinion, the best match of all four promotions in the match of the night. Last but not least, the best show of the night, Ring of Honor Wrestling. Ring of Honor gave us three matches. All three matches were good. Strong vs. Nakamura. Bullet Club versus Chaos, and they even had an Elgin versus Gato match that was pretty good as well. Ring of Honor took the cake on this night. Strong shows by by all four. I would say NXT probably in fourth, but Ring of Honor show of the night. Out of the four, my favorite. I think it had the best the best bang for your buck. More most quality. Best matches, just a great show all around. But basically, that's all I have for this. This has been the inaugural episode of Wednesday, Wednesday Wrestling Wrap Up. My name is George Coles, and thank you for watching.